Hi everyone, I'm following Umai Pixel platform tutorial. Up to 9 minutes 31 seconds he add the sprite node and points to a website called Open Game Art. Michel Bukelli has created some really great game arts. Maybe you remember this design. I made a small tutorial previously and that video was figuring out how auto tile work and here we have the same character and this was a tutorial from Heartbeast and now I'm following a tutorial from Umai Pixel and he uses the same game art from Buck or Michel Bacelli. I'm very sorry if I don't pronounce it right. Anyway what I want to talk about is that Umai Pixel has splitted a sprite sheet to separate sprites and he has even renamed them but if you want to download the sprites separately from Buck then I'm sorry you can't because it's one file you could do an animated sprite and define a small frame area in that animated sprite. I'm of course talking about a node in Godot. There is one thing that I want to explore and if you understand what I'm doing then I believe you will think that this is pretty awesome. So let's add an animated sprite 2D node 2D and you simply create a new sprite frames and click it. I downloaded the sprite sheet in assets and drag and drop in here. Right, they are blurry. So let's try this. Select import preset 2D pixel and then select reimport and now the blurriness is gone. All right, what you can do is you add frames from a sprite sheet and I believe the default is 4x4 four four, but it is 4 rows. If you count one row you will find 23 characters. So let's type 23 and now it looks pretty good. Then you click the first one, hold down shift and click the last one and you get everyone selected. Then add 73 frames. So now if we click animate sprite we can cycle th through the frames So I renamed it to Buck Frames. Let's select Buck Frames and we go down to Script and New Script. And we choose C Sharp, of course, because I love C, C Sharp. Buck Frames are derived from Animated Sprite, meaning we have access to features of Animated Sprite or Buck sprites. What happens if we choose get sprite frames? Alright, it is deprecated, so you use this instead. We have an animation name and a frame number. I don't know if it's zero based or one based. Alright, I think it's zero based. The animation name is default. Let's set up the C sharp debugger. I need this in order to be able to see what is going on. And guys, it is such a powerful tool to use a debugger and I highly recommend it. So you simply copy the port, then you go to run, open configuration, C sharp mono, paste the port, and then save. 
then you go down to the run section I think and you select attach not launch it may have a glitch in the beginning it happened before so let's set a breakpoint here and press run and now it is waiting for Godot so we need to run we need to run Godot in order to debug all right so now we are in in the C sharp editor and we have stopped at the breakpoint and this is a sprite frame object we can see all the information now let's go down let's watch the TX all right you can't use drag and drop so now you can see the region it is 32 by 32 and I know this is the right size and here we have the sprite guy let's close this one because I want to show you something really awesome so an animated sprite has several frames and I did some tweaking here just some testing and I just added a sprite if you get confused so don't worry about this I renamed the default to anim1 and then I created a second animation and I'm going to add characters gray and that is I just converted this to a gray image so horizontal 23 and four rows and select the first and hold down shift and select the last add 73 frames let's fix this blurriness characters gray PNG preset 2d pixel reimport and let's check this I don't know it looks blurry to me but maybe this was because I converted to grayscale and the image program did something I don't know all right so I have two animations so what I want is anim1 and anim2 printed let's set the breakpoint here and start it lists anim2 as the first one let's see what's up continue and continue and check out output so this must be the textures All right so I figured out how to get the animation names and we have anim1 and an anim2 so now I can use the animation name to get the number of frames because we are going to iterate through the frames if we use get frame it will return a texture and a texture can have these type of textures and now I get the atlas texture if we take my sprite and remove the texture we can try to copy the texture from buck frames and see what that looks like and I want to use the atlas texture return from get frame and current animation the name is my sprite and notice that I have the script in book frames so we need to go back to kinematic body and find the node my sprite and that is why we need to use get parent and then get node my sprite and then we simply set the texture to the atlas texture it will break the current animation name and it will break the current frame and that simply means it stops everything it prints the first frame so this is how you get the whole sprite sheet 
we use ATX2 and it and I simply convert to a stream texture so now we have the whole sprite sheet displayed and it is of course outside the window the region of the window what I want to do is to get the image data from this texture to do further manipulation specifically on the image sometimes when you debug the debugger will not attach so this is what happens right now it doesn't open the Visual Studio Code editor to fix this you press open resource monitor or the task manager and press V and you end this process and now you can click attach and the debugger will wait until you start Godot play and it doesn't work I don't know what's going on alright so now it seems to be working so now let's check what we get in the image and the image is initialized so you may be wondering why don't I use ATX1 let's try this let me show step over and see what happens image is null I don't know if this is a bug but this is why I get the whole atlas texture or the base texture now let's get the size of the sprite and this is the ATX1 and we know that this is the current frame not the whole sprite sheet and we get the size and then we get the position wait a minute we get both the position and the size so we don't need vector 2 so basically what we did if you see this one we are the f in the we are in the first loop the first animation and the first frame and we get the start position where that frame is location located where that frame is located and we get the size of the frame then we grab the whole atlas texture and use that data to find the start location and that is here zero zero and the size then we create a new image and whenever you create a new image you need to fill it with empty data otherwise it will not work and I didn't know what the image format was so I grabbed the image format from the current texture now we have an empty image and we can copy from the whole sprite sheet the position and the size and we tell where to copy in what position and we simply set 0 x coordinates and 0 y coordinate if you don't use create you will get an error in blit rect guess what we can now save the png file so let's place it in the assets folder I'm not sure if this works but I want to create a directory in the assets folder and it should be the animation name and I think this is how you do it let's try this first uh, 
and we have assets and we have a name one and let's try to save the PNG a name one and we have the PNG here for some reason it creates an import file also not sure what that is about so then why not remove the breakpoints and just let go so it's it found the gray sprite sheet also reimporting assets so now you have animation one and animation two let's see what this looked like if you use air from view uh, then you can go to display option window mode make sure you check fit image to window and don't use any resample so now you can press space and you see all the animations Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you got something useful out of this. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Take care and I see you in my next video. Bye bye.